grade 11 CAT students or computer application technology. We are doing the PRAC paper or paper one from November 2019 for the Eastern Cape. Now just take note about this paper. It is out of 180 marks. The new format for exam papers tends to be out of 150. So it'll be a lot less work to cover. But what's nice about this paper is that at least you're going to get some extra examples of things to practice on. So let's cover it. We're doing question two, which is the second word part. The links to the data files are in the video description. Make sure that you click on them. Make sure that you get them. Make sure that you're trying out the paper beforehand and then coming back to the video to see where you've made your mistakes. So let's go start question two. So here we are at question two and we've got to use the second word letter which I've got open up over here already. And so question 2.1, locate the highlighted word email and replace it with a symbol wingdings2 character code 63. So take note wingdings2 character code 63. So let's go find that particular text. So there's the word email. I'm going to select it and we want to change it to a symbol. So I'm going to come here to insert and come across here to symbol. Now I'm not sure if I've got the correct one there. So let's go down to more symbols and we want to go to wingdings2. So if I scroll down, you'll see there are a couple of wingdings options. There's wingdings, wingdings2, wingdings3, we want wingdings2 and we want number 63. So if you want, you can just come over here and just type 63 and it will jump to that particular one. Now it looks like it's just the finger. Um, so wingdings2, 63, that seems to be the one that they want. So I'm gonna click OK, insert, and there you can see that it's inserted, it's over there. Let's go to the next question. Apply the right lined tab setting at 10 centimeters in line with the highlighted date and insert a date field with today's date. Oh, there's quite a bit of information here for four marks. So let's take it step by step. Apply a right aligned tab setting at 10 in the line with the highlighted date. So let's go. So there's the date. So we're going to select that line. We're going to insert a right aligned tab setting at 10 centimeters. So we want a, so we've got the ruler. If you don't have the ruler, you can just go view and view ruler, make sure that that is ticked. But we want at 10 centimeters, we want a right aligned. So there it is left tab. I'm going to click on it again to go to center. Click on again. That is a right tab. And now that I've got a right aligned tab there, I can come here to 10 centimeters and I can click over there to set it. I can double click on that tab to go to the settings. You can see that it is a right aligned at 10 centimeters. If you did it incorrectly, you can always come here to change it and set it so there we go it's right aligned at 10 centimeters and insert a field with today's date the date should show the current date on the day that the letter was open so we don't just want to type in whatever date you are writing this exam we want it to change no matter what day that this thing opens up so at that tab setting we want to insert the date or the time so i'm going to click on the date and the time they don't tell me what format it must be. So I'm sure we can select anyone because there's no mention of the format, but they do want it to change automatically or update automatically. So we, whatever one you select, you must click on that update automatically option and click OK. So you can see there it is. If I click on it, you can see it's gray. If I open this up tomorrow, it'll, it'll be the 13th of the 10th, 2024. So there we go. So that one is done. Let's go to 2.3, locate the heading registration information. So scroll down, there it is over there. And we're going to change the properties of of the name text form field to accept a maximum of 10 characters. So I'm going to right click on this for there it is. I think it is. I'm going to right click on it and you can see that there are properties for that form field. I'm going to click on the name, click on properties and we want it to have a maximum length of 15. So I'm going to change this to 15. So there we go. So maximum length of 15. Click OK. Then add a checkbox form field below the text male so that the person can choose either male or female. So we want a checkbox form field. So over here, we don't have a box over there. You can't just insert a symbol. It must be one of the form components. Now to get the form components, you need the developer tab. If you don't have the developer tab, you can just right click in a blank space on the ribbon, go to customize ribbon and make sure that your developer tab is ticked. It should be in your exam. If not, that's how you can get it. So you can literally right click, customize ribbon and go select the developer tab, but you want that one. It will mention that in the instructions. And we want to insert a checkbox field. So there is a checkbox component. There are other ones like there we go. There's a checkbox form field that matches the wording that they used. If you look here, they say a checkbox form field. So although this one says checkbox content control, if I click on the legacy tools, they normally prefer the legacy forms. So let, there's one over there. That's the active X control, but we want that one, the form field. So I click on that block and there's now a block for them to tick for mail. And that's for one mark. Then 
Insert a drop-down form field next to qualification and it must have degree, diploma, higher certificate. So next to qualification, I'm assuming they want it to be over here. I think we're going to replace it over there. So we're going to insert a drop-down form field. So that's, again, legacy tools are your best bet. It's probably there. If I move my mouse over there, drop-down form field, exactly like it is in the question paper. I'm going to click on it. So there it is. And then I'm going to right-click on it and go to properties and we want to add items we want to add them in the right order please make sure they get them in the right order degree diploma higher certificate so you'll type in the word degree and then add it and then you type in the word diploma and then add it and then you're going to add in the word higher certificate add it make sure that you type the text in the correct order there's normally a mark for that so there we go there's our three marks for that question then 2.4 oh that was quick beyond the last question already send letters to people who are interested in becoming judges oh the sounds like a mail merge the names of the people are stored in the spreadsheet to judges which i've got open over here you can see they're the names it's all nicely laid out everything's right at the top so this looks like we're going to merge this data with our letter so we're using that worksheet the applicant's worksheet we're going to replace sir madam with the date in the name only letters to those who have a degree and we must sort it according to name okay so there's a couple of things we need to do so let's come over here so to do the mail merge we need to come here to mailings and then you just start from this side and you move across so we're going to start with this is going to be a letter that we're going to create so we're going to make some letters so we say in what we're doing and we're going to select who the recipients are so where are we getting the information from we get it from an existing list so there are the files in my exam folder we want the two judges spreadsheet click open and it's asking me which worksheet. So we want the applicants one. So I'm going to click OK. And our first row of data contains heading. If you look over here, it does contain the heading. So it's going to use those as the name of the fields that we want to insert. So I actually can close this now. I'm going to close that and say, yes, I want this one. Yes, first row, click OK. So we've done that part. So now we want to edit the recipients because they specify that we only want letters to those who have a degree and sort it according to name. So that's where we edit the recipient list. So I'm going to click edit recipient list. So we want to add a sort. And if you remember correctly, they said sort according to name. So we want to sort according to name. They don't mention ascending or descending order. So when they don't mention, you assume ascending. So there's the sort done. And then we want to do a filter. So if I click on filter, we want only those that have a degree. So to know if they've got a degree, if you look at the data, the qualifications must be the word degree. So I'm going to come here. The field qualifications must be equal to the word degree. And that's the only one. If there are more criteria, you can use the and and do more stuff. But that's the one. Qualification with equal to degree. If it's a number field, you can use less than, equal to, and all that. But we want to go OK. And there you can see. You can see that it's sorted by name. You can see that it's only the degree people. Yes, that's what I want. Click OK. So we've done that. Now we want to insert the fields. What field do we want to change? Just the sir, madam must be changed to the name. So we want just that to change to the name field. So which field? So here you'll see the headings of our spreadsheet are listed here. So we just want the name over there. If I click on it, you'll see it must go gray. It must have those funny little brackets around it. Then you know you've done it correctly. Those are the only things we must do and save the merge letters as two merge letters. So we've done all the settings. We can then move across everything that we can just preview it. Did you see that we're happy? Yes, that's the first one. I'm happy with that. And so we're going to come here and finish the merge. We're going to edit individual individual documents let's click on that and we want all of them because we've already restricted what we want so we can say yes sometimes they might say that you only want the first three so then you would say one two three if you wanted to but that's what we want and so here we are in a brand new word document you see it's called letters one and it's got the first person if i scroll down there's the second person and so on you'll see that there are eight pages in total so i think that is correct so we need to save this so i'm going to go file and save as browse so this is very important make sure that you are going to the exam folder make sure that you save it in there because if you don't for example in your final exams then they won't extract your file so make sure that you save it here so we want to save it if you see there correctly two merged letters so we can save it as two underscore merged letters and click save so we know we've saved it in the correct place. There we go. It's been saved. Happy with this. We're going to close this one. Got the original one. We can save that and close that. And I think we've done that question. So we've done all the word questions. That was nice and short, but it was quite complicated. But we're going to now move on to question three, which is the Excel question. The links are in the video description. 
If you still need help with Word, Excel, or Access, make sure that you subscribe to at Miss Long RT and Cat so that you don't miss a video that we post. We have a theory channel at Miss Long Computer Terms and, and on TikTok as well at Miss Long Education. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long way.